Hey guys, welcome to VTech Academy. You're about to get schooled. All right, so uh, this happens to belong to Roy. Roy the boy, too. I'm sure you remember him from earlier Civic stuff. Uh, Roy, talk to me about your project car here. Well, basically, it is the EP3 and stock motor right now. I'm planning to do a K24 swap. Debating like a on, TSX K24. Right, right, right. We're, we're shooting for the TSX. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Um, so, um, other than that, basically right now, I'm trying to keep this one alive because this motor will be going in an EK that I have. Nice. And we're going to be doing that one too. So All right, cool. So uh, a common problem with uh, the uh, EP3 and the CRV, for that matter, is the exhaust cam. Uh, it actually gets excessive wear, uh, usually on the fourth uh, uh, cam lobe, uh, fourth cylinder cam lobe. Uh, I've heard it said that it's you know from not changing your oil properly. Uh, I don't know if it's a design flaw, but basically, if this is the camshaft, if you look at the camshaft when it's in the car, and you look at the fourth cam which would be this one on this end uh this one just doesn't get enough oil and it starts getting pits on the peak of the lobe uh this particular camshaft we have happen to have just sitting around a box at hasport back when the uh rsx first came out we actually bought a crv uh actually i'm sorry true back when we had an ep3 uh, back in 2003, uh, we happened to buy a CRV block uh, to put in the car in order to get a, a 2.4 liter. And uh, this was one of the cams that came out of that. The engine probably had, I don't know, less than 10,000 miles on it. So this is a pretty, pretty fresh cam. And we're going to take his cam out and put this one in. And we're going to try and do it without taking the timing chain off. So ready to get going? Yep. All right. So, on his particular car, it's not the four cylinder, it's actually the second cylinder. Let's get a light over here so you can see a little bit better. Oh, yeah. You can see how, how chewed up it is. Like right there at the top of yeah. the lobe. Really kind of garbaged up. The others look okay. Uh, the intake cams all look fine. Usually, those aren't a problem. Uh, it so happens that the SI part number is actually the same as a CRV cam, so that's why we chose that particular cam. Anyway, now what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and rotate the engine to top dead center. Once we get that, we're gonna loosen up the chain tensioner. Then, while holding the cam gear in contact with the chain, we're gonna take off these cam caps, lift the cam out, unbolt it, take it out, put the new one in, put it all back down, and, uh, See if we can do that without the cam slipping. If it does slip, that means we've got to turn everything to top dead center and do, you know, an install so we're like putting a fresh timing chain on, although we can probably do it without taking the, ch the, the chain off. But anyway, that's what we're going to do now. Oh, we're probably going to mark the chain too, so just in case it does slip, we can find, you know, and go back to that point without having to take everything apart. Yeah, you want to keep the cam kind of in the journal, uh, and you want to keep the, the chain against tight against the gear. What's going to wind up happening is as we take this last one off, we're going to be able to pop the cam up out of the journals, and then we're going to be able to slide it off of the, the cam chain itself. Uh, right now, the big problem is holding the cam. Yeah, holding the cam tight against it. In fact, we might try. Um, my, my main concern right now is the tensioner. If the tensioner pops, we're gonna have to take it out and put it back in again. Uh, in fact, <laughs> I'm thinking now I might just take the tensioner out of the thing 
pin it and then we can just put it back in afterwards which would be fine uh, so I'm just afraid it's gonna it's just gonna expand I wasn't able to get a pin in it so uh, uh, I think we'll stop and do that before we go any further all right oh get it You're fine. all right Okay, so we've got that. I want to hold lift it, it out now. Okay. And we don't want to lose the tension. Yep. You're going to have to pull that out. You're going to have to work that out of the thing. Do you want to just slide it off and I'll hold the chain up? Yeah, because we got it marked, right? Yeah, it's marked. Okay, pull it out. Hang on. Ow, ow, stop. For some reason, I thought maybe you kept the gear there and you just undid it. Yeah, the... that's what I was trying to do. Oh. And it does not want to come out. So, yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh. But we don't want to lose that one, so it won't... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, basically, what we did, uh, we were trying to slide the cam out of the cam gear, but it just didn't want to come out, so we wound up taking the whole thing out. Now we're trying to hold the intake cam down inside the thing still, and the, and the, the cam chain, so he's going to take the gear off change it over real quick and then we're going to try and put it all back together all right. again. This newer cam here didn't have the gear. So what we did is we took it off my old cam and we're putting it on the newer cam and we're going to replace it, put it back in the engine. And everything is marked so we should be good to go. And as you can see, there's the problem with our cam. I think you kept it better idea. Put it here. Wow, we got it on. He's in. There. All right, put the cam caps on. It went on a lot easier than it came off. I was, uh, as hard as it was to get it out from underneath the chain, I was a little concerned it was going to be hard to put back in, but uh, it, it just popped right on, and then it was so easy to go on, I'm like, oh. I'm sure it's not lined up, you know, but uh, no, not only did it go back on, it's lined up as well, so I'm feeling pretty good. This is the tensioner. Uh, I was trying to peg it with uh, a drill bit and uh, the whole time and I thought, ah, there's a problem here. Well, the problem, I thought it was too expanded. The real problem was I wasn't using a small enough uh, drill bit. Normally, I actually have a sawed off thumbtack that I use for that. But anyway, we wound up taking it out, so we've got to put it back in again. Uh, the way to get these compressed is to lift that tooth right there, right here on the bottom, and then compress it. When you get it all the way down, I'm using a drill bit this time, but now it's compressed all the way. So once I get it in place against the tensioner, I pull the drill bit out and it expands to uh, tension our uh, chain guide because we're not on a lift it's gonna be really difficult to see what we're doing so let me kind of explain on this engine that's out of the car this is the chain tensioner cover it's held on by three bolts those have been taken off the chain covers come off then what's gonna happen is this actually bolts in right there and there's a tensioner that runs like that and basically this pushes against it so once I get it in place I'll pull that out, these will expand, hit against the chain tensioner, and that'll hold a, the tension up against the timing chain. We got it all back together, uh, it took a little longer than I thought it would, uh, mainly with the little problem with the tensioner, but we pulled the tensioner out, held the chain taut as we pulled everything apart, put it all back together, dropped it in, everything lined up properly, got down to TDC. Um, I set the tensioner, uh, I unpinned it, and it uh, is tight again. We're gonna go ahead and uh, rotate the uh, engine through by hand a couple times because we actually have to reset all the valve lash on the exhaust valves with the new cam. I doubt this new cam is as worn as the old one, so we're going to have to redo all the valve lash on those. Uh, right now, what we're going to do is we're going to torque down all the uh, bolts here for the uh, for the rocker arm assembly. 
Uh, then I'm going to torque down the cam bolt and the cam sensor bolt. You didn't see that part. We actually uh, had to put the cam sensor on as well. Uh, but once we get uh, those things torqued down, we should be uh, ready to adjust the valves and bolt it together and fire it up and be yeah. beautiful. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but Honda puts valve lash right here on the sticker underneath the car. <clears throat> right here exhaust valve lash cool. 0.3 millimeters who has uh, all feeler gauges come with both well most of them do so 0 0.305 close enough Oh, the AC clutch on this? That may be what it is, because it doesn't sound normal. AC on or off? AC on right now. Turn it off. Turn it off. That's not a bad that's choice. That's AC. It's on now? No, that's off. Yeah. It's not a bad clutch. That's, yeah, that, your clutch is going out. So what'd you think? It worked out better than I thought. Oh man, I was scared, because I'd never done one before. But uh, it was actually a little bit easier than I thought. Other than my miscalculation on the tensioner, I think it went pretty smoothly. I think the next time we do this, it'll probably take a lot less time. I forgot, you know, all my cars typically are race cars, so they don't have a lot of the extra, all the extra uh, stuff. stuff they have on yes. the side of them. So it took a little longer than I anticipated. But all in all, it went pretty quick. And uh, you got a new cam, and I got rid of some junk out of my shop. So uh, it's a good I, deal. And, yeah, and I got my speed back. Yeah, you got your speed back. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, it quieted down once you got it warmed up, you said? Yes. It cool. quieted down once it warmed up. Um, and then, like you were mentioning, probably five, 600 miles where we check the, the, the valves again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, when you first started up, I was a little afraid, but I forgot your clutch sounds like it's kind of yes. loose on yes. the air compressor. Yep. All right. The so we need to right start looking for a new air compressor for you mm -hmm. as well. All right. Well, let's hit the junkyards. Yes. See what we can find. And a TSX motor. Oh, yes. All right. That's next.